Hello everybody, welcome to Project Beauty where we talk about project panning and everything beauty related. My name is Jen. Today I'm going to be updating my graveyard project pan and I have a few things rolling out this time which is really great because um, even though the project is kind of short, some of these things have been stagnant because I put in huge usage goals <laughs> and I think I just bit off a lot more than I could chew so I reduced some of the goals. Um, but this is created by Emily from Emily and Max on YouTube and on Instagram and it runs from April the 30th of 2023 to October 31st which is Halloween of 2023 and I love anything spooky themed I just think it's so much fun um, as long as it's like the fun kind of spooky and not creepy spooky like I like creepy just not sadistic <laughs> <laughs> so I'm all about Halloween. I'm all about scary movies and things like that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so of course I had to do this project. And normally I like to do Halloween looks when I update. But this year has been a really trying year for me. And especially this last month. I am certainly going through it. And I'm not about to get all into it or anything. But it's just... Um, I haven't been... <sighs> First of all, I've been sick. And then there's been other things going on and I just haven't been using my makeup as much as I wanted. So I've heavily used skincare and I've been wearing makeup every single day since I've been able to uh, without a break. So I'm trying desperately to get my uses in to make sure that my updates are really fun for people and also that I can get my uses on my makeup so I can actually try things and get to know my collection better. And for those of you who are super into project panning, that is going to be a big thing for my collection next year. Like, my collection is going to be loved a lot. And I'm barely going to be bringing anything in, if at all anything. Because I need to change my ways. I need to make sure that I'm not buying unnecessary items. I need to just stop the frivolous spending. And I'm going to be watching a lot of project panning and low buy and no buy videos and um, if any of you are doing that kind of thing or want to join me let me know down below by leaving um, I guess any kind of spooky emoji I would love to know if any of you are on the train of low buying or no buying and just using the stuff in your collection so that it doesn't expire and go bad and just get forgotten because that's something really big for me right now so let me know down below if you're doing that and let's just go ahead and talk about the things in this project. So the first item I have is the Ilia Multi-Stick in the shade Dreamer. And let's turn it around here. <laughs> um, this was in a favorites from Sephora last holiday. So it's almost a year old now. And I have, you can see, I've used quite a bit of the product in here. But I still have a lot left to go. And my goal is to eventually, obviously, use this up. It's a very expensive item. I put the price on the top so that I know when I use it up, $45 Canadian. So I want to use this up if I can and I haven't been using it that much. I did put a goal of 30 uses on this and I've only used it uh, six times. So I have reduced my 30 uses down to 13 uses um, just to be sort of in line with the project. 13 is usually a spooky number for people. For me, it's a really great number. It's a lucky number. I love 13. I love Friday the 13th. I don't put anything bad into that, like any bad stock into that. So for me, 13 is a wonderful number. So this one I want to use 13 times. So I have seven more uses to go. And in all honesty, if I can reach those 13 or use it even more until the end of the project, I will. Because we still have another month left to go. And I do have a lot of cream stuff in, in my collection. But I would really like to see a lot of use on this. And I'm not sure I'm going to be able to do that. But that's my goal. I would love to have this as an empty at some point. The next item we have is the NARS Laguna Bronzer and it is repressed into my Too Faced Compact. Now this one is lovely. I really enjoy this bronzer. It looks kind of weird but it's repressed so uh, it's beautiful. It's just such a gorgeous bronzer and <clears throat> I don't know if you can even really see it there. Let's try some more. It's a really gorgeous color on me like it, it's very similar tone to my skin so it looks 
flattering. I do have a couple different kinds of bronzers on today because I've been using a few different ones to try and pull a certain color out. I just wanted to give myself a bit of warmth but also my neutral cool look uh, without it looking like I have contour all over my face. <laughs> and this is perfect for that. It's absolutely beautiful. I love the tone. It's gorgeous. It's got the lightest amount of like um reflection to it like it gives a little bit of a sheen and so I absolutely love this it's my favorite bronzer Laguna bronzer is my favorite of all time so that one I would love to get 13 uses on as well I did have it at 30 but I've reduced it to 13 and again I've used this six times for the ABH glow kit and this is in sun dipped so it's more of like the summery type one this one I wanted to use 30 times as well, but I have reduced that to 13 and I actually reached the 13 uses. Now I am filming this probably about a week early, um, but I've been reaching so many goals that I just wanted to run through again. And I did manage to reach this goal today. So I've been use usually using at least two highlighters per use. So on my cheeks today, I have this one and this one combined. So that's why it's a lot lighter when I I turn it's very very light compared to my skin shade so normally I would use these two or this one and this one combined and try to like blend the colors together but I just wanted something light and airy because unfortunately I went to a funeral today um, and so I wanted something that was light and angelic looking so um, I definitely adore this highlighter quad and I can't believe I haven't been using these like I'm just shocked at all of the stuff that I have in my collection that is just sitting there. So that's another reason why I, look. Well, there's a multitude of reasons, but this is a main reason why I want to not buy a whole bunch of crap anymore is because I have all these gorgeous items in my, in my collection that I've had for years and they look brand new. So I need to just physically try everything and use everything. You can tell it's like a thing with me. Like I really need to just use what I have. So this one will be rolling out of the project because I used it 13 times. The next item I have is the Soph Revolution and Highlighter Palette. And then there's eight of them in here and I wanted to use four. And I have used three of the four. So I combined this one, this one, this one, and this one into a pan. And I like, not a pan a mortar and pestle and I mushed them all around and everything and then I put most of it into a lotion so that I would get some use of this and now this one is the one that is left from whatever I took out so there's really not much left in here and this is an absolutely beautiful highlighter color like it's gorgeous so I still I think I'm gonna try to maybe use it um we'll see last last update I talked about really heavily focusing on trying to get it used up and I just realized that it's not like my absolute I don't think it's my favorite it's similar to one of my favorites now that I've combined the colors together um so I'm gonna try to use it until the end of the project or at least end of the year and then I'll decide if I want to declutter this palette because I just feel like I have much better like for example this much better quality items in my collection that I could use without having to repress things to make them better. So currently I'm happy with the usage, even though I use it in lotion, but I have a feeling I will declutter this at some point this year. So I'm going to actually, rem I think I'm going to remove this from the project and just use it when I want to use it. And I'm not going to keep track. I think that's what I'm going to do. Yeah, I'm going to remove it from the project because I ha I'm bringing in other highlighters. So I'll explain in a second. So the next one I have is the Tarte Smooth Operator Amazonian Clay Finishing Powder, which is right here. And I have actually completed that. And I actually finished this today. I took the stopper out and I was using just like tapping some of this onto a uh, like a Kleenex or whatever. And that's how I always use my powders as I tap them onto a Kleenex. Sometimes I'll combine a couple. Sometimes I'll throw in a loose highlighter to give it a little bit of a shine. And then I just mix them around and use a powder puff kind of thing to apply it. This is so finely milled. It's just the most soft, like weightless feeling powder ever. It's just so soft. It's beautiful. Um, however, it's very white white cast like if I were to do my face 
my whole face makeup with cream and then apply this on top of everything to set it, you would see a huge white cast on my face. So I always had to combine something in with this, but this is now an empty, which makes me very, very happy. It is so nice to have like a bigger full size item out of my collection. And this year I've realized how much I really enjoy loose powder. So I think that's something that I would definitely invest in in the future. But once I use all the loose powder and pressed powder that I have in my collection. So I need to use things up before I buy new. Next we have the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. And this is in Gummy Bear. This is so good. I love the scent of this. This is probably my favorite lip mask ever. And I have so many of them. I love this and I'm kind of milking it because the scent is so beautiful. Um, it's a tiny one from the sampler pack at the holidays and I did buy a new sample pack from the holidays but I have a ton of backup so part of me is like do I return it because I don't need it to just sit there. I probably have enough to get me through until next holiday. So part of me is like feeling guilty about the purchase and like um, I'm considering returning it but I'm like $25 or $26 um I don't know if I want to return it yet. So I'm hemming and hawing about that. But for now, um, for now, I'm going to keep it and we'll see. But I need to, I need to make sure I'm not just going to sit on that for another year. Um, so yeah, <laughs> I'm just kind of beside myself right now with things. I feel guilty for buying the couple things that I've bought in the last month but I don't want to reprimand myself for indulging a little bit, but that money could have been better spent somewhere else. So there's just like a lot of that going on in my mind right now. And I think I just need to power through and do the project panning and just not buy stuff. So that's the goal for the future is just not buy stuff, but I feel bad about that, that I bought that. So yeah, I just wanted to explain that I'm having like a guilty feeling about actually buying that when I really know that I probably didn't need it. The next item I have is the L'Oreal Infallible 24 hour foundation in 180 linen. And I want to hit pan on this. As you can see, there's no pan in here. But my goal is to hit pan. And I have a really good dip. You can see even from where the light is hitting it that there's a really good dip going in here. So my goal is to get some really good significant pan on this by the end of October. But I will continue using this until the end of October. I want to try and use this up completely if I can, but eventually this is going to be too dark for me because I get really light skinned in the winter and very deep in the summer. So this is sort of like my summer into fall shade and I can potentially like wear this and then bronze it up right now. So I could still wear this for a couple months, but I want to use it up if I can. So that's the goal is to try and complete it, but the project goal is to hit pan. Yeah. <laughs> the next item that I have is the hydrogel eye patches, which are here. And there are five of these in here and they are a watermelon scent. And my goal is to complete them. And I have completed every single one of these pads. I'm not going to take them out and show you they're going in my empties, but I have completed these and I love them so much. I got them from Marshall's for $5.99. I love them so much. They're very, very good. I just adore the feeling of them and my son likes to like touch them when they're on my eye. <laughs> so kind of funny. But anyway, I will be talking about the items that I am bringing in now. So the first item I have is the MAC um, NC25 Water Weight Concealer. And the reason I'm bringing this in is because I can still use NC25 right now. So I'm going to bring this in until the end of the project because this should be okay until the end of October if I continue to um, self tan on my face. And I, I'm trying to use through a self tanner right now, but you can see that it's like a really good shade for me. Like it's a really good match right now. That was the tiniest swatch ever, but it's a good, it's a good shade match for me right now, basically. So yeah, I will try to use that until the end of the project. Um, my goal is to 
try to use things in my collection, of course, that are older and cream and stuff like that. And I also want to save things for partners in cream. So I was going to save this, but I'm not going to do that. Uh, but the last dot that I have from where it was is right here where my fingernail is. This one is, you can barely see it. But there's one above it here, but it's down here. So I think I'm about there um, with the product. But yeah, I'm about uh, just above the top of this wording. So yeah, I still have a long way to go in this, but just a couple uses will help and then I can use it again next summer. The next item I'm bringing in is the MAC Extra Dimension Skin Finish in Show Gold. So I'm going to bring this in for five uses. And this is a beautiful, gorgeous skin finish or highlighter. And oh my God, it's so pretty. Oh my God. So pretty. It's kind of like pinky and I've been wearing a lot of like pink blushes so I thought this might be really cute to wear and plus it's like a duochrome so you've or yeah so you have like a gold shift and a pink shift depending on where you're looking so I'm excited to use this for five uses the next one I'm bringing in is the Revlon Skin Lights Highlighter and this is in Daybreak Glimmer I gotta write that down Daybreak oh my gosh glimmer I don't know if I'll be able to read that later <laughs> that's horrible um for five uses as well I love that they look like dragon scales ever since I've watched Game of Thrones I'm like everything looks like dragon scales but this is what it looks like right here this one here it's perfect I love gold highlighters so this one will be lovely to use and I believe is this the one that people are saying is similar to Amrezy or is there another one I can't remember but I don't have Amrezy and of course I'm devastated because I wasn't buying makeup for three years I took a hiatus from YouTube and I took a hiatus from buying makeup and because I was pregnant and I just wanted to spend time with my family and I just wanted to devote all that time to my family and I'm glad I did it I'm just disappointed that I missed out uh, on Amrezy, but I did miss out on the Melt uh, Sugar Skull too, like the um, Muerte and I can't remember the other one, but those two, but I ended up able to purchase them later. So that was great. Now I'm just waiting till ABH brings Amrezy back and I'll be very happy when that happens. I'm sure they will. I'm just waiting patiently. And the last thing I'm bringing in, because I'm taking out four items, so I'm bringing in four items. And the next one I'm bringing in is the Nabla Skin Glazing Highlighter in the shade Ozone. I have had this for over a year and I have never used it. It was in the packaging. I just took it out of the packaging because I am tired of sitting on things in my collection and not using them. I don't know how this performs. I don't know what it's like. I can't remember if I've used it in the past. So yeah, gorgeous. It looks very similar to the Revlon one. So if you're trying to save a buck. All right, that's everything. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please, in the comments, wish me some luck. I'm definitely going to need the encouragement, the support, and the cheering up. Um, if you want to send a virtual hug, I would love to see a purple heart or a black heart or something like that in the comments. That would be amazing. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.